it's time for Dutch Oven Cooking with C-Dub. Here's your host, C.W. Butch Welch. Okay, welcome back. To go along with our chicken and ribs, we're going to do baked beans, uh, what we call no-name crick baked beans. And When I was a game warden for the state of Idaho, ended up on a big backcountry work project back in a place called Chamberlain Basin. And uh, another kid and I, we uh, had the dinner duty that day, and we were actually camped on No Name Creek. And most people, when they first see the name on this recipe, say, oh, there's no such place, but there is. It's back in Chamberlain Basin. Anyway, we were kind of combining our talents, and we had a bunch of beans. So we just started dumping everything in there, and we're going to start out with some garbanzos. You can make this with anything you want. And we're going to drain part of the liquid off these beans. We've got some small white beans we got to make sure we don't get that yellow jacket in there i'm sure the protein wouldn't hurt us but you know we really don't need that so uh we're going to dump these in we're going to add a bunch of condiments and uh, we've got some black eyed peas uh some red beans, and let's use a little liquid, so off about two of those, two cans. We've got some black beans. Okay, get those all out. And we'll use one more can of liquid here. Don't want that in there. Okay, let me grab my paper towels. Kind of keep my hands as clean as I can. Get rid of that pot liquor. We're going to take one of our, our, our bean spoon today is uh, from Woodland Interiors. These are all hand carved, finished with beeswax. So there's our basic no name creek baked beans. And these are vegetarian. You could add meat. And as Don and I did that day out on no name creek, we're just uh, going to add. Uh, Whatever was in the check box, a dollop of ketchup, and we're just going to kind of go down the list, and we're going to add some onions, a little garlic, and uh, I'll get my charcoal going so when we uh, have some charcoal, we're going to do with that the easy way and just set our charcoal right there on the uh, stove. And I like to use the stove rather than the newspaper wadded up underneath it because when we're finished uh, we uh, don't have all that ash blowing around back here. We're going to add just about a half a cup of molasses, a little bit of Lowry steak sauce, just a dash, and you can season this to taste, you know, and it seems like every time I make this it's a little bit different, a little bit of horseradish, you know, and if you want to have a little pop, get the extra hot variety. I'm just going to keep all this stuff stirred in. Okay, a little bit of dried mustard, and if you don't have dried mustard, add just uh, a little bit of prepared mustard, some salt and pepper. Okay, we've got our onions already diced up. We're just going to throw those in there. And we'll go ahead and chop our garlic. And it's going to take uh, about 30 or 40 minutes for these with everything, really, except for the onions and the garlic cooked. Uh, we uh, can uh, just... Uh, Everything's going to finish on time. And we're going to put our garlic in big pieces. You know, and anything that gets to me is pick up a recipe that says, you know, two cloves of garlic. You know, that to me is two cloves of garlic. That's just a good start. That's like going down to car lot, buying a new pickup truck, and, you know, looking at one that only has two tires on. You know, not quite enough there. So we're going to put some garlic in there. Going to stir this all up, and uh, okay. 
That looks good. 